Hey, James and David. Hey, it's Grandpa. You want to hear a story? This one is called The Sleepy Songbird. Deep in the forest, there's another picture of the sleepy songbird. Deep in the forest, the trees rustled and the animals stirred. The day had just begun. Perched on his branch, Peep woke to the sound of a beautiful song. Who's that singing, he wondered. Peep stretched out his feathers and decided to follow the tune. He soared on the breeze to the edge of the forest, where up in a tree he found an owl. Is it you who's singing? Yes, Peep. It's not me. Who did the owl? So Peep glided down to the field below, weaving through the grain, and soon he spotted a mouse. Is that your wonderful song? said Peep. It's not mine, squeaked the mouse. Peep hopped through the poppies, and he followed the song down the riverbank. As he watched the water sparkle and swirl, up popped the frog. Have you been singing, asked Peep. No, croaked the frog. The song is coming from over there. Peep looked up and saw an enormous tree. On top of a hill, the tree was full of birds and they were all singing. Peep landed on one of the branches and listened. That was beautiful, said Peep when they had finished. I've never heard anything so lovely. Thank you, chirped a friendly bird. We're the Dawn Chorus. What's the Dawn Chorus, Peep asked. We sing together each morning, said the bird. Our song lets everyone know that it's the start of a new day. Peep thought for a moment. Hmm, can I sing with you, please? Come for an audition tomorrow, said the conductor. We started Dawn. Peep was so excited that he flew straight home and practiced all evening, practiced singing all the evening. And when he couldn't sing another note, he fell asleep. See, there's Peep sleeping. The next morning, he awoke in a panic. You're going to be late for your audition, called the owl. Peep blinked his sleepy eyes in the bright sunshine. Oh, no, he cried, and he flew off as fast as he could. But he was too late. I'm sorry, Peep. The day has begun. The dawn chorus has already sung, said the conductor. Can I have one more chance, begged Peep. Come back tomorrow, said the conductor, but don't be late. That day, Peep practiced and practiced. He sang so sweetly that all the forest animals stopped to listen. The hours passed and Peep felt very tired, but he wouldn't go to sleep. He didn't want to miss the audition again. He watched the st as the stars fell. He watched the stars as night fell. Just before dawn, Peep set off for the audition, but when he got there, he was so tired, all he could do was yawn. See, Peep, how sleepy he is? Oh, dear, Peep, the conductor sighed. Perhaps you're just not meant to sing with us. Peep felt, Peep felt very sad as he walked away. Now I'll never be a part of the dawn chorus, he said to himself. He flew home all alone, and as the sun started to set, he sang softly. And after a while, Peep heard another sweet song drifting toward him, not far away, and he saw a bird who looked just like him. Why can I sing in the evening, asked Peep, but not in the morning with the dawn chorus? Because you're a nightingale, just like me, said the bird. Nightingales don't sing at dawn, they sing at night. So, as the stars came out and the moon shone brightly, the two nightingales sang the most beautiful song of all. 
the end. Love you, boys. See you later. Bye.